Hi everyone, John McLeod from MacBit. Um, just going on how we went over the weekend. Um, pretty much we got away with murder on Saturday at Eagle Farm. Um, we're sort of in the bin bad halfway through the program or even leading into the last couple of races and uh, we were able to get out and, and just win. So that was alright. The coast was alright. Um, I think on Sunday we um, might have just lost but uh, Hong Kong was no good. So. That was um, that was disappointing. A wet track down in Hong Kong. It made a lot of things change. Leaders were going good, and uh, it's just a, a meeting that we weren't prepared for the for the rain. So that was very disappointing. Anyway, um, going back to how we went to this first race, we started off all right. Um, you can see our bets here. We we were betting around the favourites. I think in the morning in the Q and A, we were sort of saying that. A lot of these horses were the wrong prices, especially Quality Seeker. I think it was four dollars in the morning. Thought it was the wrong price. Galtiero was always a little bit concerned about it over the distance. So Dapper was was so Dapper was going up in distance, but we still threw something on it. We finished up throwing something on uh, the winner around the 950 mark. So we won a couple of thousand on the first. Uh, pretty much even type of sections you can see they went out a little bit slow and got home a bit faster but it wasn't a bad win by that horse um the the winner going well second race this is where we hit a hurdle i was just very keen on soxagon i thought i didn't know how it was going to get beaten really and i still don't know how it's got beaten they went nine lengths below average and got home four and a half lengths fast and he was able to be um, run down so i don't really know how he did it or how, how Red Chase did it. Even Prometheus, you can see where Black Book did. It's made up lengths on, a, on the first couple and um, you know, sectional that it shouldn't have been able to do it. I, I realised the fence was a little bit off, um, but you know, as far as the track played, I, I thought it played pretty reasonable. It's first, you know, the first one I was very disappointed um, a couple of weeks ago in the track, but this one, you know, the sectionals, it played more even than what um, I, I thought it would um, come into this meeting. Uh, you can see I, I had a fair bet on, on Soxagon, so we're back, uh, we're doing a couple of thousand now. This next race, race three, uh, what did we do here? Uh, we fiddled around, I backed Stylish Saga each way at run fourth, threw a little bit, a few bets on on these other horses that I thought had chances, even I Dream of Green, we got big odds at $26 and a firm right up in the market. Plenty, just going good, this horse. Another black book of run, came along the fence in the worst part. You can see the sectionals, they didn't go out that fast and they got home a bit quick and it came from last on the corner. So just flying, absolutely flying. So uh, we knocked off about 1,500 on that race. And then we came along to race four, I didn't know where to go here. I was still trying to work out the track. They've gone fairly slow out and got home fast. So Red Steiner with Black Booked it. It's probably just a Black Booker. It, it did, um, it run on and tried hard down the straight like it always does, but it's always given given start. I had a small bet on it, threw something on uh, Black uh, Bold Assassin because I thought it from it. The coast the, um, last start was pretty good, but 1800 is really as far as it really wants to go. So what we do, 750, so we're doing four, nearly four and a half thousand coming into the next. Uh, next race, I didn't really play here. I threw something on Ice Frost. You can see we had it $15, but we could have had it as, as short as 650 on a couple of runs last preparation. So I thought around about the $26 mark, you know, I thought it was worth throwing something on. I didn't really want to play in this race and so we're all over the shop. Um, you know, Jeremy Lady was short enough, I thought, you know, Spirit's Choice, I was tipping, but it was short enough, especially with the kid on it, and he just uh, got left early, so I, um, I just threw the 200 on, so I did 200 in the race, I was pretty lucky in that race. Race 6, uh, this race I was concerned with the two favourites over the distance, Ballistic Boy and Navy Cross, you can still see what, um, you know, I took something off uh, uh, Ballistic Boy and still had it that price, but I didn't want to back it. Uh, so I, 
through something on the horse down the bottom is showing his secret. You can see we had it fairly short compared to the market, so through 400 on it around the $14 mark. And, you know, after the race, I'm not disappointed that I didn't back um, Ballistic Boy just because I, I thought the distance was a real worry, and and um, you know, Stuart just rode it like a freak. It was just a perfect, perfect ride, speed on suited got home they got home slow and he was able to just pounce at the right time so it was just a perfect ride race seven um, this race here we we uh we were sort of betting around rothfire as it's a, a, a little bit especially with mccrure i was quite keen on it threw something on it my back got a kiss for a result uh, while rule a little bet and the drinks card a little bit but these two down the bottom mccrure and got a kiss with the ones mccrure went terrible Probably didn't, probably jarred up, I would say. And uh, Rothfire, Black Book of Rome, just flying, just just sat through a fast sectional. And you know, they you know, they didn't go too bad to the last, you know, last couple of hundred metres, especially, you know, considering the seven lengths above par. He's just a really nice horse and just, just sits on the pace. And if they go slow, he wins. If they go far, a little bit faster, he's still got a bit of bulldog in him. So he's just a good horse. Um, race seven, what are we doing there? After that, I was doing 6,000, so we're in the bin. Race eight, this is where we recovered a little bit. Um, Kevin Tari, just forget the run, the green means forget, it was held up in the straight, but it was suited, they went out fast, and they got home a little bit slower than normal, so the, the, the race isn't that fantastic. But we threw a couple hundred on trekking, Kim and Tari threw a little bit on, on Ty Zone and uh, cracked me up a result. Can't believe they went forward on it out of the gates. That was a big, um, I don't know why they did that. And uh, Madame Rouge, we, uh, you know, I was supposed to have 140 on it, 150 on it, and I threw 50 on it. And coming to the line, I was sick because um, I was sort of just shaking my head that I, that I, didn't, um, I didn't back it or I didn't put enough on it. And Nick and Ova just missed our price, and I wasn't on it. So it was sort of like a bit sickening going to the line. Thank God, um, Ty's open was able to put its head out there. So finished up winning 3,000. So we got half back out of that race. And then the last race, um, sectionals were a little bit slower than I would have expected. They didn't go as fast, um, and they got home okay. So I you know I was pretty keen on that retain. I, I was sort of get, I was humming an hour and about the track whether I should um, back it or I shouldn't back it, and and I was just lucky I was on it in the morning because I don't think I would have had as much on it as I as I did because I was questioning whether this track was hard and whether this horse would be able to handle the hard track. So it was pretty much I was lucky. I would have probably only thrown five or six hundred on it if I um, if I hadn't bet in the morning. So we finished up. Winning something on that, we won three and a half thousand. I, I saved on near door, but I just thought when we got out to 420 on Betfair at one stage, I thought, oh, I've got to throw something on it. You know, you can see our price is 250 and $1.90. So it was sort of closed right up on the both of them. And, um, you know, I had to save on near door, and I just nearly saved on it. But we finished up winning nearly a monkey, so we were, you know, I was quite happy to get out of the trouble. I was in, in the bin and and a couple of bigger bets to come, so we were sort of uh, under the pump. But anyway, that's that's about all for us. Um, pretty much black booker wise, Kim and Tari's, you know, always there. Rothfire, you just can't go wrong following it. Um, there's another one, uh, Red Steen, it was borderline black booker. Plenty's absolutely flying, but you know what you're going to get with it, it's going to get back in the field and everything, so you need Eagle Farm or or Clounder for that horse. Prometheus went good. Um, just don't know whether you can put a couple together, but he did win at the coast and then he's come out and gone good again. So, and that's about all. There was no real outstanding run of the day, apart from probably Rothfire. That was probably the, the, the run of the day and the disappointing run was Soxagon because I thought, um, you know, he didn't do too much wrong with his sectionals, but uh, he didn't win. So that was a worry with that one. All right, that's about all from me, and we'll catch you next week, uh, next Saturday. I don't know what sort of meeting it was next Saturday, but um, we'll be here. Thanks.